I really never thought I was going to say this, but um, Gary Oyabenga has a fan. Gary is spot on correct with his take on the horizon. You cartoon globalists should learn a thing or two from him. Good job, Gary. Godspeed. <laughs> yeah, I had a laugh bit. That was hilarious. And um, Daniel Erdman. Um, yeah, guys, you can read these comments for yourself. As you see here, he likes his own comments. I do that to keep track of the responses at a glance. Uh, why? What's the logic in that? As for turbines, I answered it and only way possible given the flat earth. Well, the uh, conversation goes on and on here and um, it seems like he has no idea what the difference between level and flat is. Because uh, you agreed that the sea is flat. No, I agreed it's level, not flat. There's a difference. An off-level shelf on a wall is still flat. What do you mean? Yeah, it's uh, flat, not level. There's a difference. But the main thing is, um, Daniel Erdman, you always come back to the horizon rises to eye level, which I've told you over and over again. Thousand feet wind turbines are below my eye level of 70 feet. And he wants a long distance observation. This is 75 kilometers or 47 miles. How far do you need it? <laughs> He's also a pilot, he says. I don't, I'm not sure, but uh, yeah. It seems a bit strange for him to be a pilot if he have a... Uh, Get an airplane and climb as high as you can. Horizon will always be at eye level. And um, go back here. I started with the C-150, C-152. And he knows how it flies with the um, thr thrust, lift, drag and weight. But still he has no idea how the plane stays level at a set altitude. Oh well. Um, let's come to the, um, the heat of the discussion here. So, Daniel Erdman, this is what I'm talking about. There is nothing here that uh, fits on the flat Earth, and the uh, horizon definitely not rises to eye level. This is my water level, that you obviously have no idea how it works. Um, this setup is uh, somehow wrong or something. Please explain where this is wrong. It's a water level. Water always finds its level. And um, when I shoot my photo over that, the level is at the white part on the lighthouse, just about there. And those wind turbines are 500 feet tall and stand on a 500 feet high hill. And that is 75 kilometers or 47 miles away. So again, horizon does not rise to eye level. And uh, yeah, how far away do you need those wind turbines to be to get below eye level on the flat earth? If you still don't get this, uh, get this uh, Daniel, you're slow, really slow. This is water level. Water always finds its level. This is eye level. And horizon drops. You have to get those wind turbines to fit your model somehow. Yeah, this is getting old guys. Sorry, but some people are really slow. Uh, thank you for watching and um, see you next time. Daniel, your move. Bye-bye.